Sergo Zoy, he's folded under the gun. Okay, appendix guy. He's the appendix guy? This is the appendix guy. Wow, he looks so calm. I mean, this is the bizarre he's got thing. He's a smile right now. To have surgery and be back at the poker table the following day is just ridiculous. He must be on some good stuff. I would imagine so. Maybe that's what makes him so calm right now. And an STCX should do pretty well for the table, actually. If you were to choose something. I'm not going to show too much emotion. Neither does this guy. I'll tell you what, the players at this table love their Jack-9 suited. It's definitely a way to play it. Now I'm hoping that everyone watching <laughs> is rooting for Appendix Guy. I mean, if you're going to show that amount of heart and commitment, if you're going to lose a part of your physical being, he's got more heart than anyone else right now, ratio-wise, that is, in terms of comparable to other organs. So I assume he won't give up ace-queen, at least I hope so. The three-bet by Kalinin is... Um, it, it, it is possible if you assume that the uh, under the gun player is opening a bit much, then you can do it. But um, I wouldn't recommend doing it every time you look down a jack-9 suited, because technically you would also be doing it then with all other suited combinations of connected cards, and that would just be a bit too much. You're opening yourself up. Check. So interestingly, Kalinin didn't just flat with the Jack-9 like we saw in the previous hand. He played Igor and... With yeah. Appendix Guy making the call, still has the best hand with Ace-Queen high. Kalinin continued flop for 27,000, got called. Chance to fire a second barrel here. It's a bit the nerd in me, but I do love it when people bet like 27 into 81, which is exactly one third. I always am kind of um, congratulating the other one in my head on, ah, you're actually counting the pot. Or you got lucky that one time. But he looks like he might be counting the pot, and it is a table full of Russians, so I'll give him credit for some mathematical ability and liking. So now it's going to be a difficult decision for Gnusayev if Kalinin decides to continue. He actually has a decent hand with his Jack-9 suited. An advantage of Jack-9 suited in this board is that you're blocking two of the possible 10x combinations that Gnusayev might have. He can neither have Jack-10 of hearts nor 10-9 of hearts, and those are very relevant combinations because in offsuit 10, you wouldn't expect Gnusayev to call very often. He's out of position against a large 3-bet, so even Ace-10 off is probably not going to call very often if he's a solid player. So therefore, we're kind of down to 10-9 suited up to Ace-10 suited, and taking out some of those combinations allows us to bet a bit more often. So I think um, if you decide to bet flop, you can try to get the ace highs out on the turn, which will work fairly regularly. So maybe even it's possible with a smaller bet size 
something like a third to 40% again. Especially given that the stack sizes are such that a small bet would already put uh, Gnosaev in his mind for all of his ships on the river. Now obviously, I always like to see the best hand win the pot. And, and also, this guy is appendix guy. We want to see him win. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. Kalinin's jacket is so cool that it's actually a flip for me whether I want appendix guy or Kalinin to win this pot. I kind of always root for the hand that has shown more aggression. But he's got it all. Look at him. Now he's even squeezing the lips. He's got Any the man who literally just puts that jacket over a bare body deserves to win pots, quite frankly. That's it's like college shirt, nah. T-shirt, nah. Just going to wear a jacket. Well, he's a bit covered. He has not only one, but two gold uh, necklaces. Oh, so sorry. Two I gold was, necklaces count, I wasn't I think, including accessories, Igor. I was talking specifically about items of clothing. Well, this man covers himself in accessories. Sunglasses, gold necklaces, and a red jacket. He might be going to Burning Man Wedding, actually, in that outfit. It's, it's not far off it. Well, Kalinin, as we mentioned, is the table chip leader. He has decided to go for it on the river. 63,000 into 135,000. Can Appendix Guy find the call with just ace high? Or maybe even the jam. He does have the ace of spades. And Kalinin has shown that he pretty much never has the 10. So, from Gnosaev's mind, um, he now in this situation has more 10x's because he will have check called them and he will have checked them and he might have checked them on the river again, even though he wouldn't jam at 10. So he's not really representing that with a, with a jam anymore. And it is also possible that Kalinin would have checked back a flush draw on the turn. So he definitely might have a flush. Nice! He does it! Oh my god! Finds the jam! Gets a fold. Very appendix nice. Appendix guy chipping up during the first few minutes of this level. Brand new to the main stage, brand new to the feature table. And now playing a stack of 370k, more than 70 big blinds.